For paired reading, we are on our final step, and that is to write a killer conclusion. A conclusion can make or break your entire essay. You could put in all the research, you could have all these great vocabulary words, but a conclusion is basically like wearing a really, really nice suit with some really bad shoes. So let's show you how to write an effective conclusion. I really think that a conclusion can be one of the most important parts of your writing. And when a conclusion is done well, it will bring your writing to a natural close. But ultimately, it will draw people back to your writing. And that's what you really want to do. You want to inspire people with your writing, and you want them to come back and be willing to read more of the things that you're writing about. So what do you have to have in an effective conclusion? Well, number one, you have to have a concluding transition phrase. And this could be something as simple as, in conclusion. But I would hope that you would extend yourself a little bit and go on to Google and just type in transition phrases and try to find one that's a little bit more powerful, one that stands out. The next thing you need to do is you need to restate your thesis or your claim. This is the answer to your question. So you basically want to restate the question and give your answer. In the end, you are summarizing what it is that you just wrote about. The third thing you want to do is you want to summarize your evidence. What were the key points that you were making in your essay to prove your thesis? And then the last thing you need to do is you need to give your final thought. This is where you can bring out your own personal opinions about the question and it brings it to a natural close. So let me show you what an effective, great conclusion looks like because it's mine and you know it's going to be awesome. So what I have here is I have my essay. Now I know yours is going to be better than mine because as you can see in mine I have my introduction and then I only have one body paragraph essay. I know your essay contains two minimum, if not more than that, to make it even stronger and to show me how you've gone beyond. In red, I have my conclusion. So let me share it with you, and then we'll go back and we'll look at the parts of an effective conclusion to make sure that they're all in here. In conclusion, the reason why we are facing the trash problem we have today is due to the amount of prepackaged foods that we are eating. These prepackaged foods are causing our landfills to be overrun, and Americans are producing more garbage than ever, about 1,600 pounds per year. While it's convenient, these prepackaged foods and our desire for convenience is taking its toll on our planet. Oscar the Grouch may be content living in a garbage can, but I'm not. So you can see that it's not real long, but there's a lot that's packed into it. So let's go through it. Do I have a concluding transitional phrase? Yes, I do. Right here, in conclusion. And then I went ahead and I restated my question and I gave my answer. Here it is. The reason why we are facing the trash problem we have today. I had to answer the question of what is the trash problem we're facing today? And then I give it. It is due to the amount of prepackaged foods that we are eating. That was my thesis or my claim. And then I went ahead and I included the three pieces of evidence that I used to support my thesis. These prepackaged foods are causing our landfills to be overrun. That's number one. Americans are producing more garbage than ever. That was number two. The third one was the stat about how much garbage we're producing per year, about 1,600 pounds per year. Again, I summarized what were my important details. And then I give my final thought on this essay question. And this is where you can have fun and really give your own personal opinion. And I say, while it's convenient, these prepackaged foods and our desire for convenience, it's taken a toll on our planet. It's my own personal feeling. I think our, our quest to be lazy is taking a toll on, it, on our planet. And then I go back to one of my childhood favorites, Oscar the Grouch, who lived in a garbage can. And I say, Oscar the Grouch may be content living in a garbage can, 
but I'm not. And there you go. So that's an effective conclusion, and that's all there is to it. If you put in those four elements and keep it short and sweet, or as I like to say, succinct, you're going to have a great conclusion. So what I want you to do today for reading the workshop is you are going to, this is going to be your final piece. You are going to add the conclusion into your writing, and then you're going to submit your entire paired reading response that you have done over this last week to the reading standard-based grading Dropbox. Your writing should have, number one, your introduction. Make sure that you have all of the elements that you need in your introduction. It includes the body of your essay. Again, go back and make sure that you have all the elements that you need in the body of your essay. And it should have the conclusion. And you can go back in this video to make sure that you have all the elements of a conclusion. If you've been using the feedback that I've been giving you and you've been making those revisions, I know you're spot on. So good luck, finish your essay, and get it submitted.